welcome back to Vindictus, where today I'm actually pretty excited to show you that we are going to be having our first real boss battle today. Um, the last one, yes, there was a boss, but he's not one of the more difficult ones. But this time around, uh, we're going to be fighting one of the, the kind of, I don't, how, do, how would I best describe this? You're kind of a kind of a segue boss, really. I guess if you're to say anything, that really shows you just how difficult the game is supposed to be, or really put onto you for display what the game can do. And if you're thinking I'm doing a little more damage, it's actually because I put some points into my combat mastery. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the game, you do have skill sets. It's not just random hack and slash where your stats are based solely upon your loot. Your loot does help. Your gear does help. Um, however, it only helps to a certain extent. A lot of the rest of your stats are determined upon your skill levels and how you've been putting points in them. For example, uh, a lot of I have several that go towards helping me recuperate stamina, which helps for doing a lot of stupid stuff you see when I'm doing a lot of jumping around like a dingus, you know. kind of important as a lot of these skills that I was telling you about that get upgraded um you use that those coins there to actually purchase them as well as a lot of these pots and pans can contain things not pans are just solidly pots Ooh, this looks like fun to hit somebody with let's take this for a while oh never mind there's the exit can't really use it that's kind of lame oh well worse things have happened on to the next now, a lot of these episodes are going to be really short, because I'm going to edit out a lot of the loading times, but also because, like I said, the maps, one of the downfalls of this game is it plays very quickly, so a lot of the time, you're only going to get the combat, mainly because I don't think anyone really wants to watch me run around town and talk to NPCs. Which, if you do, you can leave a comment down below, and if I get enough votes to kind of see what I do in the meantime, or if you guys want like a walkthrough video for how I'm building my character, I would be more than happy to do so. Just don't expect much common sense out of it. When it comes to these kind of games, I very rarely look up walkthroughs. I very rarely look for tips. I just kind of play them how I play them. If something seems great, but it might not work on a character that I'm like, currently playing. I really love that move anyways. Um, if it, like a lot of people say, oh, that doesn't work, yeah. And it may not matter to me because I like the way that it does work for me. Or I have a way of making things work. For like, um, I don't follow the meta, I guess, would be the best and easiest way to describe it. I never have. Anyone who's ever played League of Legends with me can attest to that fact. A lot of people don't like to play that. Maybe this is a boss, I was thinking of this is a mini boss. Either way, I should still make some great gameplay. He's got range on me, but I still have my maneuverability working for me. As well as my awesome skill. interesting fight. Let's go collect my bountiful goodies. To get some good stuff. There is crafting in the game, but I think that comes a little bit later on. Okay, I got a few extra things there. Nothing to write home about anyways. 
Well, anybody's. And everybody's. This has been another Vindictus playthrough with the Wild Weasel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.